Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial using the Too Faced Marielle eyeshadow palette. I'm starting off with the shade Frenchie and putting that in my crease and in the outer V. This is my transition and blending color. This is always what I start off with. Um, I'm just going back and forth. I'm not being precise with this color at all. You can go a little bit crazy if you want. Just make sure um, everything is well blended. There aren't any patches or anything like that. So once that color is on, I'm going to be going into the shade Senorita which is like a muted kind of like pinky rose color. It's very, very pretty. This is going in the crease and in the outer V. Um, I'm not going as far up as I did with Frenchie, but this is, I'm just being a little bit more precise with this color. I'm going to be putting a couple other shades right on top of this. You guys know I like to mix my eyeshadow shades. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Here I took Amorcito, forgive my Spanish guys. I am heart, uh, part Cuban, but my Spanish is horrible. So I'm taking that shade, putting it in the crease and in the outer V, and you guys cannot tell me this shade is not vibrant. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know, but we're going with it. This is a super vibrant, pigmented shade. I didn't think pink eyeshadows look good on me, but guys, this is beautiful. Blended out really well, super pigmented, easy to use. Like if you're if you're new to eyeshadow, guys, Too Faced is just the way to go. So now I'm picking up the shade Slice, which is a really bright pigmented orange. It's really pretty. And I wanted to add a little bit of definition to this look because I just didn't want it to be like a pink look. I wanted that little like subtle pop of orange. So I'm putting that right in the middle of my lid, but I'm also blending it in the outer V and in the crease. You really don't have to worry about it taking over the pink. I mean, you can go ahead and reapply the pink if you have to, but it's just a little bit, don't go crazy. And it adds that little pop. You know what I mean? It's not, like I said, not just like all a pink look. That orange gives it like a little extra something. To deepen up the look a little bit, I'm taking Hot and Spicy. This is like a reddish burgundy color. I'm putting it right in the outer V and in the crease. I'm being very precise with this color. I'm not going crazy with it. I'm using this little fluffy brush by Sigma. It's the E36. It's perfect for little detailed work. So like I said, adding that in the crease and in the outer V, nothing crazy. For concealer, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, just putting that right in the inner portion of my lid, and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. This is like a half cut crease, I think you could call it. Not sure. I just like to clean up the inner portion so that the shimmery shade really pops, and it just looks a little bit cleaner when I do this. So I'm blending that out so it's not thick or anything, and then I'm taking the shade Santa Monica. It's a really pretty like peachy gold color. I feel like I've seen this before by Too Faced. I think I have it in their natural love palette if I'm not mistaken but look how pretty it looks on the lid guys it looks gorgeous it, it really did kind of bring the whole look together So I thought I lost a little bit of that orange, so I went ahead, took like a little domed brush by Eco Tools and reapplied the orange. And I'm also blending that orange in with uh, Santa Monica, the shimmery shade, so it, there isn't like a harsh line between the mattes and the shimmer. Um, it looked really pretty. I love the orange. I think that's my favorite part of the look. So now I'm taking the same NARS concealer and just concealing my under eyes and cleaning up my eyeshadow edge. This is my regular concealer routine. I really like the NARS creamy concealer. Um, I like my Too Faced one more. More, but this is still a really good option. I like it. It's not cakey. Um, it doesn't crease badly or anything like that. So this is still a good option. I know people were obsessed with this concealer back in the day. All right, guys, moving on to eyeliner. I never thought I would find an eyeliner like the Physicians Formula Eye Booster, but this Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner is the best eyeliner I have ever used. It was so easy to use. It's super black. I am... I'm just I'm just shocked. It worked so well. You guys know I love Too Faced, but I'm I'm being completely honest when I say this eyeliner is so easy to use. 
and I just, I love it guys, I gotta tell you. So moving on to my lower lash line really quickly, I took Hot and Spicy, put that on the outer third, and then I blended everything out with Frenchie and Senorita. Um, those lashes are Natural Flirt by Too Faced, and then um, to blend those falsies with my natural lashes, I just used the Better Than Sex Mascara. It's a Too Faced day, guys, you know, I'm using a Too Faced palette, so I try and use other Too Faced products. So once the mascara is done, the eyeshadow is complete. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look. I think that orange, like I said, it's my favorite part. It just adds that bit of dimension. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.